is Zoe LaFleur. I'm 12 years old. I work hard in school. I work hard in my sports. I work hard at home. Last year, I saw my uncle, Adam Chire. He performed on Penn and Teller Fool Us. My uncle was definitely a mentor or a coach to me. He introduced the trick to me. He showed me how to do it, how to perfect it. My family has watched me practice for two months, and yet they still don't know how I do the trick. I am aware that I would be the youngest person to fool Penn and Teller, but just because other magicians are older than me doesn't mean they're better than me. I can make magic just as well as they can. Penn and Teller, don't judge me how I look because once you watch me do my trick, you'll be in for a big surprise. Great things come in adorable packages. Here is 12-year-old magician Zoe Lafleur. Hi, Penn. Hi, Teller. I'm a huge fan of yours. But I always feel so badly for you when you can't figure out the tricks. But don't worry, I'm here to teach you how not to get fooled by magicians. Would you come join me on stage, please? Hello, Zoe. Now, Penn and Teller, before a magician starts, you should demand to see the cards. Look at them, make sure they're all different and in no special order. Those are all different and in no special order. All right, we are ready to start. Now, pen. Often, a magician might say, pick a card, any card. Ah, but don't do it. Magicians can secretly force you a card that they want you to choose. So, the only safe way to do it is if the cards are out of the magician's hands and out of their control. Now, when I turn around, Pen, I just want you to take any card you want out of the deck. Look at it, remember it, and don't let me see it. Okay. Not gonna make it easy and just tell because her. she's young. I'll I want this harder. to be totally random, so can you just take a small clump of cards just from somewhere in the middle of the deck, hide them under the table so I can't see them, count them to yourself, and remember that number. All right, is everyone done? We're done. Perfect. Now, pen. Okay. Next, a magician might say, put the card back in the deck. Ah, but don't do it because magicians can use a sneaky pinky trick to hold the spot of your card. Mm -hmm. So the only safe way to do it is if, again, the cards are out of the magician's hands and out of their control. Now, I'm gonna start dealing cards onto the table, and whenever you want, just say stop. Okay. Stop. Right here? Right there. All right, go ahead and put your card in. I will. No fingers, your card is truly lost in deck. But who knows, maybe I was counting. So, you can give the cards a couple of cuts. Good idea. Now, tell her, you still have your cards, right? Perfect. So, when I look away, can you just take some of your cards, put them on the top of the deck, some of your cards and put them on the bottom, all right? All right, you have any more cards? All right, we have now exhausted all methods a magician could use to cheat. So, Teller, can you show me what is the number you're thinking of? 10, all right. It's done. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is the tenth card. Yes, it is. Pen, can you tell me what is your card? The five of hearts. The five of hearts. The five of hearts.
So you're 12 years old. Yes, I am. And how long have you been doing magic? Uh, well, I actually just started last year when I really got into it. Um, my uncle, Adam Chire, performed here in front of Penn and & Teller. And I was in the audience just right over there. And I watched him and I was like, I think I could do that. So your uncle inspired you. And I'm sure you're inspiring so many people right now. Is that something you were hoping to do? Yes, it definitely is um, one of the goals, aside for, from fooling Penn & Teller. I definitely want to inspire younger magicians. Even though they haven't seen a lot on the show, doesn't mean they can't do it. Oh, so, yeah. All right. Well, it's time to go to Penn & Teller right. and see if they figured it out. Okay. Penn & Teller. Uh, boy, was that great, Zoe. Just so good. So, so good. Um, Teller started doing magic when he was five. I started later than you did. But when Teller was 12, he was not using sophisticated methods like this. this the method you're using, we think, is not a method that's out of magic. It's a method that's out of gambling. It's really serious, no kidding card stuff you're doing here that's really, really difficult and done beautifully. Your premise, your patter of I'm gonna teach you guys how not to get fooled is beautiful, perfect. Now we gotta get to the key moment, you know, the key moment where we talk about sometimes in code. And I used to have hair as long as yours. <laughs> My hair used to be as long as yours. Mine is naturally curly. But if mine weren't naturally curly, uh, you probably know more about hair than I do. I'd have to use a crimper on it, is that right? To get it to be nice and curly in the back? Or is there a curling brush yeah, or something like that much. I could use? But you know yeah. a lot about uh, hair. Your hair looks beautiful. Thank but is anything uh, I've said to you, given you some idea of maybe we were following your sneaky self up there? <laughs> sneaky. Did you learn code in the last year, too? Um, I think so. So did they figure it out? I think they definitely figured it out, but just wait till next year. I'm gonna get you guys. Oh, I can't 